welcome in for another shave. This one on a Saturday night. I've been out in the yard working today and got pretty hot. And when I do that, I like to use a mentholated soap. I was looking through the requests that were made uh, on my Facebook post that I did uh, probably about three weeks ago where I posted a bunch of, of samples, pictures of samples I have and asked people to pick a sample they wanted me to review and a sample, you know, if, if they would like a sample of that soap as well, I would send it out and review it. And um, Doug Becker requested that I do Katie's Bubbles Water Liptus. And he uh, said he didn't want a sample though, he just wanted me to review the soap. Uh, so Doug, this, this, this review's for you. And obviously I didn't have this in the sample, so I actually I, I, I did pictures of all my samples and all of my soaps and asked which ones people wanted me to review. So, doing water liptus tonight. Uh, it is a watermelon, eucalyptus, and peppermint soap, and it is mentholated. I uh, came in, cooled off from being outside with a shower, and uh, as I mentioned in my last video, or at least the video that I did about um, bath soaps from Sterling, I mentioned I wanted to start mentioning some of the bath products I use because you know, part of the reason I love wet shaving is I like to enjoy the scents. And, um, you know, so I have a variety of scents I like to use uh, when uh, I'm showering. So uh, I use the Seaweed Bath Company's um, Peppermint and Eucalyptus Shampoo. Um, you can see the name there, which matches the peppermint and eucalyptus in the water liptus soap. Uh, I also used uh, Sterling Soap's um, Mentha Scrub, which I talked about in the video about their soaps. You can see the pumice or pumice stone there, so it's a little gritty. It's a nice uh, soap for when you've been outside working in the yard and need to have a little bit of scrubbiness to your, to your bath soap. Um, and um, I followed up with, uh, this is a great conditioner I like to use. Uh, this is uh, Botanica de Havana, uh, their uh, conditioner. And uh, it has notes of bergamot and neroli, uh, so like a uh, citrus and then sort of a floral citrus with the neroli orange blossom. Uh, and then, uh, let's see, thyme and coriander are the two herbal notes in here. This is a great, uh, great conditioner. I like it quite a bit. So, yeah, so continuing with that peppermint and eucalyptus uh, theme, we're going to use the water liptus for the soap. Um, for the... Witch Hazel slash toner, I'm gonna to use Thayer's Cucumber, which to me is a nice summer match with the, the Water Liptus. If you saw my video of um, my favorite uh, summer and spring soaps, Water Liptus was on that uh, list, so I enjoy using it. So in addition to the Cucumber Witch Hazel, I'm gonna follow that up with the Parasso Alcohol-Based Splash. And this is, uh, Parasso Green is basically a peppermint and eucalyptus too, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so we'll be using that and um, probably will not use a balm. Kind of see how my face feels at the end, uh, whether or not we use a balm or not. Okay, so a uh, new shaving bowl I've never used. I've been wanting one of these for a while. This is Captain's Choice Copper Bowl. Uh, and this is the heavy, heavier version. And it's a nice piece. And, you know, this this, <laughs> this uh, should be an heirloom piece uh, for, for me, hopefully, if I manage to hang on to it. It seems virtually indestructible. <laughs> Um, and uh, it's a nice, uh, nice bowl, beautifully made, well done. If you go to Captain's Choice site and look on the, at their copper bowl, you can actually see images of this being made, like hammered by hand and fired by hand. So, um, yeah, this is a beautiful, beautiful bowl, and uh, it matches nicely, although the uh, coloring is a little different. It still matches with the copper uh, Phoenix Artisan Accoutrement Twist Ascension, uh, or Ascension Twist Adjustable uh, Double Open Comb Copper Razor, which if you're not, if you're not picked up on it by now, is, is my favorite razor to the point that I'm almost using it exclusively. I love this razor so much. Yes, it's beautiful, but the reason I love it is it gives me a closer shave than any uh, other razor I've used. Uh, we'll use the uh, Razor Rock uh, 400 um, Plus Soft, Synthetic uh, brush. This is the matte handle version if I'm not mistaken um, So I um, Wet the brush a little bit. Let's go in Wet it just a bit more shake it off and we'll go in here into the captain's choice bowl and uh, Normally I would load water liptus straight from the uh, puck, but I wanted to I needed an excuse to try this bowl out 
Now, I, I love my Moonscape Scuttle from uh, Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements uh, for a warm lather, but I thought, you know, doing a eucalyptus, I'm sorry, a mentholated soap, I was just going to, I didn't need a, to use a scuttle tonight. Um, I'm not going to do a cold water shave, but I don't need my water to necessarily, my lather to necessarily be um, warm. I hope you can see it's starting to build in there pretty quickly. Um, quite a bit in there. Yeah, I like this bowl quite a bit. Perfect, perfect size for your hand. This even has a nice ring to it as it, uh, as the uh, brush swirls around. Kind of the echo or the frequency being given off by the, by the bowl. Not a Tibetan singing bowl by any means, but still kind of a cool ring. All right, that's pretty crazy uh, amount of lather. Well. I think that might work. Um, so let's get in here and get lathered up and get this shape going on a Saturday night. Ooh, sweating. Dropping lather, so much lather it's dropping places. But I'm kind of wild with uh, applying the lather. This soap, uh, as I said, was on my top 10 list for spring, summer this year. Um, and uh, I'll link to that video below. Um, also, if you're interested in me trying one of, or doing a review on one of the soaps I own or samples I own, I'll put a link to that Facebook post in the video, in the description below. Uh, as always, I got a little in my nose there. <laughs> Okay, now there's a lot of soaps you can tolerate going up your nose, but uh, mentholated ones are usually not. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> I'm thinking of Zach over there. Gosh, I'm sweating. Uh, Zach over at Sunday Night Shaves and his recent menthol shaves. Glad he enjoyed uh, those samples I sent him. And um, Oleo Soap Works and PAA, he owe me some commission. Because <laughs> he... Uh, Made a purchase from Oleo with the Polar Aftershave and also made a purchase of the uh, Frostbite soap from Phoenix. Um, yeah, back to this soap. I love it. Look how thick it is. This Katie's Bubbles always performs great. Um, I've got a few others of those. Um, this smells like you're eating a cold watermelon on a summer day. Um, it has the eucalyptus to kind of give you that outside feel. Peppermint just kind of freshens and brightens things up a little bit. Um, one of the things like I love, like if I'm cutting the yard, like if I'm mowing the grass and um, or the lawn or whatever you want to call it, um, I, one of my favorite things to like cool off with is like some cold watermelon. Um, and um, so this makes me think of that. And since I was, uh, actually, I think I have a mini watermelon in the fridge. Might have to go see uh, if it's still good and try it out. Um, so, yeah, let's go ahead and get started with this first pass. All right. Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements Ascension Twist Adjustable Double Open Comb Copper Razor. Uh, and writing in it is a Persona Red. And this is its third use. I love this razor. I've got to do a video review for it, but honestly, a compilation of my last several shaves is a review for it because it's all I want to use. Um, I love this razor. I absolutely love it. I first got the aluminum version before the copper one came out, and it's a little lightweight. I put a heavier Maggard's handle on it because um, I found it was so lightweight, but lightweight it kind of skipped in certain parts of the shave. Um, but definitely um, easy to use in terms of like, you know, it's not a heavy. In fact, the other night when I was doing the shave, uh, the shave I did with the um, Oh gosh, I can't remember what soap I use now. Oh, I use the uh, 
Captain's Choice Bay Rum. Um, and um, I've never had any kind of like arthritic or joint condition or whatever, but the other night I was using um, the razor and uh, has nothing to do with the razor, but my hands started cramping. Like uh, they were kind of uh, stiff, almost to the point that I couldn't grip the razor well. So I will turn 50 next year, but uh, I'm still a young man. But uh, nonetheless, my wife uh, has um, symptoms similar to carpal tunnel. Hers are actually uh, just like arthritic uh, hands. And uh, anyway, I was telling her I definitely got a taste of what it's like for her. Because if my hand had just been hurting, you know, it would have been, that wouldn't have been that big of a deal, you know, just tough through it. I mean, depending on how painful it was, obviously. But, but not only was it painful, they were stiff. It's like I couldn't uh, close my fingers around the razor. Like I wanted to and get the feel. Um, I also have a tendency though, to not drink enough water, kind of stay dehydrated, which is not good. Uh, try to do that more today with being outside. And sometimes you get dehydrated, your joints can start acting weird. Okay, first pass, um, as usual, Katie's Bubbles, great primary slickness and residual slickness. Let me go back into the bowl here. And the lighter bowl, still plenty in there, just kind of getting some off of the edge. Crazy stuff. Probably need to work on my lighting for these shades, my, or at least try to get an app for the iPhone where I can fix the uh, exposure level um, because the <laughs> things like white t-shirts and white shaving cream uh, tend to blow out the exposure on, uh, on the video. And uh, there's only so much you can fit, fix in post-production there when editing it. Oh, God. Did I mention I love this soap? Oh, I forgot to do it under the nose on that uh, first pass. Um, so we'll do that here. In fact, I'll start with that. That way I don't throw off my... Um, but no, this soap is great. It's um, not crazy mentholated like some are. I mean, it, you definitely feel the tingle. It's refreshing. Um, oh yeah, I was going to start with this, wasn't I? As I've said in other videos, even though I have a goatee, or a goatee, ever how you pronounce it when you're not in Tennessee, I like to kind of separate my nose from the mustache part um, for a variety of reasons. I need to trim the goatee. Okay, so now against the grain. Normally I would do across the grain on second pass, but I just had a momentary lapse of reason, so I'll do that on the third pass instead. Love this soap, love this razor, love Persona Red Blade. So I'm considering starting a series of videos called uh, Same Razor, Different Blade. Uh, because I've fallen in love with this razor, and I honestly like don't see myself purchasing another one anytime soon. I know that sounds crazy and almost uh, heretical in the wet shaving community to just use one razor, but I really love it. But uh, yeah, thinking about doing a series called Same Razor, Different Blade. Uh, that way I could go through a number of different blades and um, give my review of that um, blade. And I might, um, in fact, it'd probably be the best to keep the soap same for those shaves. I couldn't save this up for... Uh, was that one shave July or whatever it was called where 
everybody was using the same product for all month. I didn't participate in such madness. Lunacy. No, kudos to y'all that tried that. That's kind of fun. I may do it next year. But, but yeah, I probably won't wait to July to do that um, series. I'll start it this fall. But um, yeah, I'll probably try to use the same soap um, so that uh, we have an end brush, so that we have, um, you know, uh, all variables equal on the uh, same razor, different blade. So it'd be same razor, same brush, same soap, different blade. Um, because honestly, all I really want to use brush wise is this Maggard's 24 millimeter super high density uh, two man badger or silver tip badger, not on the Wild West Shaveworks uh, handle. This Razor Rock's a great uh, synthetic, by the way, and I'm enjoying using it here. I'm kind of saving that uh, badger, just want to do the scuttle shaves, but uh, I could really use that one uh, brush and be fine, and I probably will for those. Uh, same uh, one, same razor, different blade series. Okay, we we'll cross the grain on this pass. Look how much soap is still in this thing. This is ridiculous. I just pressed a little bit of the Katie's Bubbles water lifted in the bottom of that Captain's Choice bowl, and uh, we get to that fourth pass, the pickup pass. I uh, will squeeze the remaining lather out to show you what we got there. A couple of big chunks of the dry soap got into the brush. I keep seeing it pop over now and then. Just kind of move it out of the way. Oh, this uh, this soap is so refreshing. Like this is uh, said in my that uh, top ten video for spring summer. That like, when I got it last summer, I initially liked it quite a bit, but I didn't like love it. Love it. I just kind of liked it. Um, but oh my goodness, this year I've really fallen in love with it. All right, let's go across the grain, which is normally past two, but past three tonight. It's a Saturday night. I'm getting crazy. Went this morning and picked up my groceries. I, you know, I uh, generally do not enjoy going to the grocery store. Or, I don't know what part of the world you're in or country you're in, the market, whatever you want to call it. Uh, the grocers. Um, but uh, here in our area we have Kroger grocery stores and uh, they have something that was called click list now it's just called pickup um, Walmart's doing similar things and I'm sure a number of other I know like Publix does I'm gonna nick myself there I think I was bearing down a little bit I'm trying to use words and shave at the same time dangerous for a man like me. Anyway, I really enjoy like purchasing the groceries online and then going and picking them up. So like I uh, ordered them for, my, for me and my family late last night and went and picked them up this morning at 9 a.m. Um, the only thing I really don't, I don't like getting any meat or seafood that way and some produce, particularly Things that need to be a certain amount of ripeness, like avocados or pineapples. Uh, I prefer to pick out myself, but I gambled on the avocados this time, and uh, it turned out fine. They seem to be ripe. I have to really concentrate sometimes with my goatee like right now it looks incredibly uneven <laughs> honestly it's almost how um, I ended up with a goatee from the full beard was because I kept just kind of shaping and shaping Looks about right. Um, the beard on the sides, like lining up the cheeks uh, and the neck, because that's kind of all you can do is a wet shaver with a beard. Um, and it just kept getting lower and lower. Yeah, I did. Look, uh, I wasn't paying attention and nicked myself a couple times. 
that will probably close up on the pickup uh, pass because these these um, these soaps from these artisans tend to start to help close up those nicks and cuts even while you're still using them. In fact, speaking of, let's get into that pickup pass. Um, let's go in here to the Razor Rock 400. Squeeze the remaining lather out. You can see there's quite a bit there. I like doing this for the uh, pickup pass. Uh, as I mentioned before, it's a good way to begin the process of cleaning your brush, but it also gives you a chance to sort of feel around for any areas you missed. And it's kind of a nice little face massage to like rub this stuff in here at the end for the pickup pass. And sometimes I go a little high with this because I'm going to rinse my face, so I kind of use it as a face wash as well. <laughs> got a, <laughs> some lather precariously close to getting in the nose. Oh look, I got some in my uh, lash because I'm reckless like that. Alright, once again, getting stuff in the nose. Okay. Alright, let's get the shade finished up with this pickup pass. Normally the places I need to pick up are over here. So I kind of do across the grain, almost, di almost diagonal, because the hair here swirls on me, on my neck. Um, you know, so that's where I usually... If you're new to wet shaving, uh, something I've found when I'm, um, you know, I've, I've learned over the past just a year of doing it um, is, I actually will go normal across the grain there and then back because I, a lot of times I will have, still have some whiskers right here on this kind of this jawline. But what I was going to say is like <clears throat> chasing that BBS. There's a point of diminishing marginal returns where you are um, basically uh, running the risk of getting more ingrown hairs and irritation. Also right there under the um, sideburn is uh, an area I like to go across the grain in the opposite direction. Normally it would be this way, but it's hard to get under that with this direction without nicking the ear. So yeah, and then I'll uh, just kind of continue this across the grain pick up this way just in case there's any other all right well that didn't close up on the with the soap but which hazel and the aftershave will get it Up. All right, let's get this rinsed off and wrap up this Saturday night shave. I kind of like a sink where I could just stick, like stick my face in it, and it had jets that squirted up. I do, the reason I say that is not because I'm lazy, and I'm not saying I'm not lazy. I'm just saying that uh, I tend to make a mess when I try to. Splash. I mean, look at my shirt, and you should see the counter, much to my wife's chagrin. Yeah, and I always give, usually give this, and I usually open my shower and kind of stick one hand in the shower like this and give it the old Bob Ross treatment. As Bob Ross says, beat the bell out of it to kind of get the uh, brush dry. All right, set that up there to dry. I'm just going to go in to this Thayer's cucumber, and guys, this smells like cucumber. It smells like cutting into a cucumber. So it's a nice mix with this water eucalyptus with a watermelon, peppermint, eucalyptus. It's cucumber. So like a nice cucumber salad at the same picnic where you are partaking in the watermelon. I actually fixed a watermelon cucumber salad a few years ago with my with my uh, cucumbers from my garden. It wasn't my and actually watermelon from my garden. It wasn't my uh, my kind of thing, but I'll try a different version of it in the future. Um, yeah, I got a little irritation there. I got uh, kind of careless with the razor. 
kind of raw there. But I love that flare, Thayer's cucumber. In fact, my wife and I keep this, um, this is the toner mist from Thayer's and cucumber uh, on the counter just kind of as a face spray. It's kind of a nice way to kind of um, perk you up and, you know, refresh you up through the day. So we use that quite a bit. Uh, so yeah, I have it in the uh, full bottle witch hazel as well. All right, that feels great. It's already going in there and working on that irritation. So let's move on to what probably will be our final product. Probably not going to use any balm. Uh, Parasso Green, the eucalyptus and peppermint. I really enjoy the sandalwood um, aftershave from Parasso and the white. The green is great too. Nice burn. Nice menthol. Opening your sinuses. The menthol of the 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 uh, Parasso green reminds me a lot of. Hang on there. Coming back. Skin bracer by Menin, which was my granddad's um, favorite aftershave. It has a little bit more of a, well, a sweet smell, if that makes any sense. Um, but I like the I like this Parasso quite a bit. In fact, I'm really, I'm really enjoying it right now. It smells great. Yeah. Run it through the hair a little bit there. All right. I think that's going to do it for this shave. So just in review, we'll go in reverse order. The Parasso Green Aftershave. The Thayer's Cucumber uh, Witch Hazel and the water leptus from Katie's Bubbles with the razor I've been using, that double up on Kona Ascension Copper, uh, using the Razor Rock 400 brush, and uh, the Captain's Choice uh, shape bowl, lather bowl. And uh, you've seen this in a previous shave. That's why I don't really need my multi razor stand or counter right now. Um, because I love this one razor. So I'm moving that to three and dropping this razor in there. I had somebody talking to me on one of the shaving groups said, you know, really shouldn't be leaving your blades inside your razor. Of course, I tend to use the razor, you know, again within two to three days. But actually, um, because I couldn't shave um, with that, um, with the last, um, or as much the last time, um, I'm sorry, the last week, I couldn't shave as much over the last week because of uh, the wasp battle. In fact, you can see I'm still healing up from the wasp attack. Um, I did take the razor out, I'm sorry, the blade out, and let it dry um, and actually put the head and base plate in the uh, top plate and base plate in um, some alcohol for a little bit just to kind of uh, disinfect it and dry it out a little bit. Um, yeah, great shave. Irritation's there. Now, what I will use... Instead of the alum, I love this stuff, guys. I highly recommend this. But I do recommend, as I've said in other videos, you get it in the roller ball. That's 10 skin. Get your roller ball, then you can get the, a bigger bottle to refill the roller ball. This is just much more efficient use, meaning um, it's more, much more cost effective. Um, if you get that big bottle and start putting it on, it's you have a lot of like just extra, but this puts it right where you need it to be and only the amount you need, really. Anytime I have any kind of irritation or anywhere I think I'm going to have possibility of ingrown uh, hairs, I come back with this. And I'll actually, in the morning when I get up, I will uh, hit it with this again just to kind of help it along. And I find this stuff really works. Guys, this stuff is expensive for a reason. Um, there's a lot of things that that's not true for. And I know there's some um, recipes to make this yourself. I haven't tried that uh, with the aspirin, witch hazel, alcohol. I need to try that. That way I can give a fair... A review but this stuff works so good look at the look at the reviews on uh, Amazon and elsewhere this is really good stuff um, and um, so yeah I use that anywhere that there's uh, irritation all right guys um, I am going to kind of drown out that um, alcohol smell from the tin skin with a little bit of more of the parasso green because wet shaving oh, so good this is so good. You guys are great and gals. Looking forward to 
making it out to the um, Dirty South Shavers 2019 meetup next weekend over in the Memphis area. And uh, so, yeah, thanks for watching. I'm going to crack open this Lime LaCroix and uh, head off to bed for Saturday night. Cheers.